syempre natin yung process of detoxification. Kasi, Dok Bong, samahan mo nga ako. Ang dami kasi na yung nagdi-detox, di ba? Marami mga kababayan natin yes. ngayon. Morning. Right. Because they are aware already na itong mga toxins nga sa katawan natin ay masama eventually. Yeah, Pwede mag-cause ng... Oh, oh. First Disease. of all, I wanted to ask, kasi when you talk about toxins, parang general siya palagi eh. When you talk about toxins, what are the toxins na nanatili sa ating mga katawan dahil sa mga kinakain pa natin ito? Yes, yes. Actually, what we're pertaining to is the exogenous homotoxins. Homotoxins meaning toxins to men, exogenous nang gagaling sa labas. Maaari siyang manggaling sa diet, manggaling siya sa supply ng water natin, air, or pag-handle natin ng materials. They can be in the form of... Heavy metals, lead, cadmium, nickel, those things. And from the diet, which now yung yung end products niya sa katawan nagi endogenous sa loob, yun yung mga cholesterol, LDLs, no, yung triglycerides, the uric acids. We have to get rid of those. Yeah. Okay. Kaya pala hindi talaga peding hindi natayo mawala ng toxins. Kasi imagine sa air. Sa inyo oh, yeah. ng tubig, yes. sa pagkain, yes. no? So, environmental. environmental. Yes, environmental. Yes. So, lahat talaga. So, again, bago tayo pumunta sa detox, Dok, tanungin ko lang, ano yung mga possible na pwede mangyari sa katawan ng tao? Pagpatuloy na nag-accumulate yung toxins nila sa katawan, yes. what are the symptoms na pwede nilang maramdaman, na pwede nilang masabi, medyo marami na akong toxins sa katawan? Actually, since I come from from uh, handling cases of cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. sa mga kinakain natin as Filipinos, they pile up in the arteries in the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. They scar the endothelium with the inner lining of the blood vessels. And they cause a disease called arteriosclerosis or yes. atherosclerosis. Mm -hmm. So, ano nangyayari doon? Sometimes there are people na nakaramdam ng angina mm -hmm. or paninikip sa, sa ating chest. Oh, oh. You're lucky if you could still feel that because some, they don't feel it and they just have a heart attack. Especially for diabetic yeah. patients, if I may. Yeah. Meron silang mahina na yung pakiramdam nila kaya hindi nararamdaman yes. lang yung chest pain na pala. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Kaya pala yung iba yung naatake na lang sila, hindi sila nakakaramdam. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Okay. So that could be one. Um, it could also result into a stroke, no? From a heart attack to a brain attack, that's a stroke. Then other things also, kapag nagkaroon ng too much creatinine mm. by virtue of protein or toxins na nag-iipon sa kidney, uric acid. can cause, yes, uric acid, very true, can cause kidney failure. Wow. Yung glomerular filtration rate mo falls to 17 or 15, mm -mm. will require you to go through dialysis. And dialysis is a very painful process. It's, it's a conventional way of detoxification, by the way. I, dialysis? Dialysis, Talaga. yes. yes. Okay. You have to clean your blood. Mm. Kasi hemodialysis. Kakatakot pala yung mga pwedeng idulot sa'yo. Sa akin, minsan, toxins, di ba, Dok, lifetime yan eh. Yung ah, dialysis. that's the pain. You know, that's a lifetime. Oh, oh. Very painful process, lifetime, that you wait for uh, a kidney transplant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's no assurance. No. There's no assurance. So, kaya nga dapat talaga preventive ang drive natin. Mm -hmm. ano? And one of the things is detoxification. Na yes, basically, yes. you're trying to take out the toxins yes, sa katawan yes, natin. Yes, yes, So, yes. how do you take it out, doctor? What well, means? Well, um, since our approach is holistic, mm -hmm. we can start first with your lifestyle. With your lifestyle. As Filipinos, ma mahilig tayo kumain. <laughs> You need to eat less of the bad and more of the good, di ba? Bakit ganun? Parang mas masarap kasi yung bad. Kasi ang mga bad kasi, di ba mahilig tayo magpatis, toyo, maalat na pagkain, bago. Mas malalasa, di ba? Yan ang mga pagkain ng Pilipinas. Yan yung malalasa. Mas mahilig ako dati sa sisig, sa crispy pata, sa lechon. Yan. Of Cebu, yung masarap talaga yun. Pero yun, yun ang mga nagbibigay ng toxins sa'yo pag palagi kang kumakain nun. Yes, because the common notion of people, Filipinos, especially men is if you eat all of those and you work out like hell mawawala yun sa katawan <laughs> not necessarily oh. sometimes it really stays. it piles up oh, oh, it mm. piles up so kahit payat ka doc pwedeng marami kang toxins yes it's possible mm. you know um, I came from Cebu I tested one of uh, the instructors in Pilates she's in her late 50s man her, her arteries she, her arteries are plus 20 so, wow. you could imagine the cholesterol, lipoprotein, oh. little a, LDL, ah, nandun doon. Nakikita may diameter ng arteries, it's like 40, 50 percent. Kung magka masikip na, masikip, masikip na, na yung arteries oh. niya. Nawala na ng Dahil elasticity. Dahil sa toxins. Toxins. Because of, well, she's in Cebu, so you oh, eat oh. na. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya pala kakain na lang 
lang yan. <laughs> oh. so, kanina pinag-usapan natin puso, utak, di ba? Laging yes. uh, sinasabi mo isa sa mga tinatamaan or organs. Yes. Um, meron bang general na detoxification or do you really have to strike on where you need it most? For example, alam mong family history mo, palagi kayong may sakit sa kidney or meron kayo sakitin kayo sa puso. Can you do that? You well, pre as well, preventive measure? Well, generally, there are general detoxifications. Mm -hmm. There are general detoxifications. You can do an enema. You can do a flushing. Ano yung colonics. enema do? Uh, the enema basically um, uses warm water and sometimes there are coffee enema, mm. activated charcoal. Mm. Those are general Laxatives. therapeutics pa na, ano, na detoxifications. Okay. Uh, but when you talk about genetic predisposition, si mommy, oh, si daddy may ganito. May, may lighting heart, heart disease, heart attack, stroke. Family of cancer, di ba? May mga oh, ganyan yeah. tayo. Oh, yun. Family of diabetic. Maganda na pag-usapan natin yun. Oh, oh. So, you need to strike at those organ systems. Oh, oh. Cancer especially, you strike on the cellular level. Okay. You have to boost your immune system. You have to give food, for, functional food for the cell. You have to cleanse your body by providing your body with more of a pH that would be like alkaline. Mm -hmm. You bombard your body with antioxidants mm -hmm. to battle the accumulation of free radicals. Oh, mm -hmm. so, ganun ginagawa natin. So yung process of detoxification, we can see here oh, sa screen, juices. It's green. It's yes. green. green. No? Laging green or yellow yes. ang ating pang detox. <clears throat> Chlorophyll, yes. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. So yes. doctor, Ano yan? Yeah, for this example, is a rainbow. Very that's, good. That's a uh, fruit salad. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a fruit salad. Masarap na fruit salad. Wala namang condensed milk. <laughs> Masarap naman ang fruit salad. Yes. Wala lang condensed milk. But anyway, kasi siyempre minsan pagka hindi ka mahilig sa gulay, oh. hindi mo makain talaga yung sibuyas, yung kamatis that's and true. all that. That's true. So one, Especially children. So yes. pwede mong i-blender lahat yan or yes, yes. i-juice yes. to come See up with that. See the juices here, no? Oh, oh. Uh, Ganda ng kulay. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. You know, and if you take a look at it, each fruit has a particular phytonutrient. Yes. Okay. It's not just vitamin C. In apples, you find flavonoids or flavonols. Mm -hmm. It protects the cell, protects the heart, no? Mm -hmm. In the green juices, such as from broccoli, cauliflower, celery, you have uh, sulforaphane. Uh, it protects also the, uh, the cell, no? From, from damage. Mm -hmm. Carrots. Uh, juice. Or carrot juice or tomato juice as lycopene and beta carotene. Mm. So anti cancer. Oh. Pero di ba, doctor, for example, you're talking about cellular detoxification kanina, no? There's a, there's a combination of different fruits and vegetables that you combine para ma attack mo talaga yung problema mo sa cell. Yes. Um, generally, generally speaking, if you do um, basically juicing therapy, there are specific fruits that will help you mm -hmm. with cellular detox or protection. Okay. Naturally, these fruits fall in the berries. Napakataas kasi ng orax core nila. Orax mm -hmm. core is the battling of free radicals. Mm -hmm. And naturally, in history, what is recorded na mataas ang orax core mm -hmm. is goji berries, mm -hmm. the noni berries, mm -hmm. and of course, the acai berry. Okay. So that's very good to battle cancer and protect your cell. <coughs> no? Eh, Dok, pang that's... kumpara naman sa puso, ano ang magandang inumin? Okay. As a puso, ang pinamaganda dyan usually, that would be apple, that would be acai berry. Okay. Oh, acai, acai berry has also omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So, anti-inflammatory yan. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Uh, apple has flavanols, flavanons, protects the heart also. Mm -hmm. Talagang kailangan mag-consult ka sa mga espesyalista even if uh -oh. you're just uh, drinking juice para tama-tama yung iniinom mo. Yes. Oh. yes. Uh, may question lang ako kay Dok. Sir, Dok yes. yung mga... Um, Creatine, creatine level. Oh yes. Dapat natin tignan before. Oh oh. Yes. Actually, that's very true. Before you do those things and in abundance without guidance, delikado rin siya. Oh oh. You have to check your um. Go go to see a specialist to to see basically your blood urea nitrogen and your creatine levels. And we get to calculate your GFR because sometimes, you know, it will also overburden your body. Oh. Oh, oh. Kaya talaga importante magpakonsult. Oh, oh. But anyway, sayang, Dok, ang yes. dami naming natutunan from you once again. <laughs> Pero talagang very short ang ating oras para sa lahat ng mga importanting information yes, na binibigay yes, mo. Yes. Yung, yung place mo, Dok, it's still in... Yes. Mabalik pa yan. At ah, saka mabalik uh, si Dok, babalik siyempre. Babalik series. Gawin natin sa place. Saan ka nga? Saan po ang clinic nyo? Um, you can find me at uh, the number 59 West Avenue, Quezon City. That's at Health is In. Mm -hmm. Clinic 
Clinic or Wellness Center. I'll be there Monday to Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much thank once you, again, Ms. Dr. Lynn. Juan Paolo Bellasilio. Isang napakagaling na alternative, Doc. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Yes. In terms of